Day one. November 9th, 2016. Do you remember just that excitement of knowing that we were getting to meet her for the first time? I felt like I was in shock. That look on my face there was just like utter... Just the culture shock of just driving through. Yeah. So yeah, this is the children's home, Heart Haven. So we drove... Quick little side note. This is like, we landed on the airplane and then we drove for five hours. Look how excited the kids are to see us. All the kids wanted to... To see us. Oh, Which there was, she is. It was cute, but it was also hard. There she is. Little And the pink shirt right there. We kept that shirt for her. We still have it. There's that moment of seeing her for the first time. It was just like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's the girl that took care of her. Ellie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she was so little. So cute. She only weighed about 15 pounds. I wanted to grab her and hold her, but couldn't. Two, two years old, she's barely. She couldn't walk by herself. Oh yeah. I just wanted to scoop her up, but I couldn't because she didn't know who I was. She didn't know that I was her mom. I tried it. Oh, she smiled, but then she gets scared. She's like, where's my friend? <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's so cute. But, yeah, she couldn't walk. Mm. Severely malnourished. She'd had malaria three different times. It had spread to her lungs at one point. She nearly died. God saved her. She was also on really intense HIV medication at the time, and then later on, God supernaturally healed her, and she did not have HIV any longer. Don't touch me. <laughs> Here, do you want to sit down? And all the other kids wanted our attention and wanted to sit in our laps mm-hmm. and stuff. Like they're right. orphans. Yeah, they're. Yeah. But like we. We were there. Yeah, we're there for, for her. Yeah. So that's the mindset we had. Like, and she had to know that we were there for her. So it's like the first couple of days, yeah, we could, you know, show attention and love to the other kids too. But then she had to realize that like she was special and that we were there for her. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to pick you up. You're crying. She's like, don't Let touch me. me. <laughs> Definitely just so amazing, like meeting our first, our first kid, and then trying to play this game where we hid the rock in the hand, and yeah, she, you could tell that she was super smart, but she was totally like not engaging, really. She didn't really want to play. She just seemed sad. Just like the saddest kid I've ever seen. Just observing. She's always been an observer. So that was the first time that we met Emanuela. And today, here we are, seven years later. She's almost nine years old. She's beautiful. She's healthy. She's thriving. She's loved. She's the best big sister. She loves to help. Like, that's helping is like her love language. Totally. And like quality time, too. Yeah, she's our number one. She'll always be our number one. We love you, Willa.